This is Johnny Talks Toys. I'm Johnny, and today I am back and better than ever with a brand new LEGO Star Wars review. Finally, another LEGO review. Today I got the Star Wars Mussolini Cantina, 616 pieces. You get a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 minifigs, so an awesome amount of minifigs. Age 14 is the recommended ages. 75052 is the set number. Most Alini Cantina. 616 pieces. And I picked this up for around 80 or or $100. So it's a pretty good deal for all the cool minifigs and everything in the set. So let's go straight to it and look at all the awesome details. Here's a look at the Beth Musician. Um, you get three of these exact minifigs in the set. Very cool. A lot of detail in the head mold. Awesome articulation in the hands, arms, and the wrist, right there. Um, the headpiece is all one, so it's kind of like a Max Rebo kind of thing. Very cool. There's like the headpiece, so very cool headpiece. Really like it. Um, the torso and the legs are pretty much the same as all Lego minifigures, but I mean the head is awesome. And you do get three of these. And here's a look at your brand new variation of Greedo. Very, very cool. Side profile. Have to say he looks really cool. My only complaint on him is I think he's a little bit too green. I kind of remember him being like more of this blue color. But I mean they did match the hands up. I remember him a different color but I mean he is awesome. Really like the um, torso outfit on him. His head's an awesome mold. He comes with the pistol. So just a very, very, very cool minifig. And here's a look at the one and only brand new variation of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Very cool. 360 view. I really like that he doesn't have a cape. Because those Lego capes can get frustrating. There's a closer look at his facial expression. No back um, printing on the face. But he does come with a famous lightsaber. Again, Ben Kenobi. The older version of Obi-Wan Kenobi if you're not familiar with um, Star Wars the like original ones, but he is a very, very cool minifig. <clears throat> and here's a look at Luke Skywalker. Brand new variation, very cool. This is like boy Luke or beginning of the Jedi training Luke. This is like when he found out he, that he was a Jedi because he's got the long blonde hair. His first lightsaber, the binoculars, very cool robe. Really like all the detail. And I believe he does have back um, printing on his head too, like a more serious look and then the other side is like a smirk so very cool minifigure and here's a look at the brand new stormtrooper and he is awesome a lot of people will buy the set for him brand new variation backpack on him he's got some printing under there you can see very cool his helmet really like this black like cape thing there really like the sandy dirty front because everybody knows that like white clothing doesn't stay clean there is his um, facial expression, very cool minifig that he will appeal to a lot of people. And here's a look at the only minifigure in the set that's not new or a new variation, Han Solo. But he's very cool, the Han Solo back view, printing on his face, side profile, front, really like um, all the torso detail, just a lot of detail on this minifigure even though he's not new. Um, and here's a look at another amazing piece that comes in the set, the do-back. A lot of people are going to want him through the set. His mouth it does open to reveal some teeth. Awesome. And you can see he does have like a tongue in there. You can see I, before I pop that off, you, it kind of looks like that piece looks like his tongue kind of, doesn't it? Right there. And you got his brown eyes, his nose. Um, the saddle up here is removable, and then there is a green plate the size of this that goes over it, but this comes off, and you can put the green plate on there. It's a green plate with some flat Lego pieces on there to make it look like the saddle's not on there when you take it off. And this, this is, um, the proper term for this, um, Stormtrooper is the Dewback Stormtrooper, because he's riding on this. So, I mean, you can see him up there riding, and... There is no articulation in the feet, but you don't really need that. And I really wish the tail would have moved, but it doesn't, so that's okay. But you got the um, saddle here to control him. You can put that in the Stormtrooper's hand. You got the Stormtrooper's rifle, and I really like all the detail throughout. 
very, very cool, like, piece or mold that they included. And here's a look at your land speeder. Very cool. I um, really like the detail with the bars down in there. Really looks cool. Like the color of it too, the orange, red, burgundy. Um, I'm missing a piece right there. It was a stud. I lost it. So I only got one there holding that on, but there is two. Side view on it. Very cool. You got your engines back here and like a um, missile launcher or an engine back here too. It does come off pretty easy. So, I might be a missile launcher or like a gun because it does rotate. Let me push it in there. And you can see this flow folds up. I think, if I recall right, they hid R2-D2 and C-3PO in the back. And that's where they put them. <clears throat> or their Jedi swords. They hid something back there. You can see the engine right there. Very cool. Really like that piece there. I like the um, caps off. And your minifigs fit in there. Luke is driving. So he is down in there. And his partner, Obi-Wan, beside him. Would have been cool if they would have included C-3PO and R2-D2. But, I mean, they're fairly easy to get because they came in that cheap $20 set. So you can add them in. But they look awesome in there. Very cool. And I'll show you a bottom view. Just all those translucent pieces to make it slide and hold it together. And then on the top, it looks... Pretty much the same, um, round, but very cool. And this thing goes fast in the movie. It's Luke Skywalker's um, Tatoon Land Speeder. Got the engines, the exhaust right there. So it is very cool, and I'm glad to get my hands on one finally. This is my first Lego Land Speeder. And here's a look at your Cantina. We're kind of it's long, so we're gonna like kind of section it off and go down the row, starting off with the bar and heading down. So let's start off. Right here, you can see we got some awesome, awesome detail. You got the cash register type thing there. The cups, like the um, mixes here for all the drinks and the taps. And you can hang stuff up there, so that is very cool. Here's a look at the back. Nothing on the back, but the front does look awesome. And you can put your mini fig back here, and they got a gun right there to protect themselves by the cash register. So very cool. Moving on, this is where the band plays. You can put your band members right here, banging on the drums. You got your um, like saxophone player, is like I will I like to call him that. And then you can put him in there if you can get him to stay. So you can put him in there, and then you can put the other guy up here singing. But we're gonna take them out so we can get a full look. And then the drum just pops off if you want to move it. If you don't like them in here, you got a green and red button there. No idea what that's for. You got their drinks right there because singers like um, to drink, to sing, to keep their throats clear. And then you got like a red container back in there. Back in there are little torches. You got your window. And the cool part about this is it goes in and out. So you can put your figures in and then pull it back in. So that is very cool. <coughs> Moving on. This is where Han Solo shot Grito. They were sitting right here. Let me find the minifigs. Greedo right here. Let me put his arm out. He sits in this chair. These chairs are awesome. And then Han Solo has his foot up on the table, but you can't do that with a Lego minifig. Put him in there. They're talking, and then he shoots them, but we'll take them out for a second. Back here, we got um, our two torches, our sitting area. This is like a booth in the movie. It's a booth. So this is like a booth, and it also is on the slain track. It slides the um, musician area in and out. I'll show you that in a second. Cool part down here. Um, this pops open, so we're going to take a look at the door first, and then we'll go back into there. The door um, slides when you pull this piece to let people in. You've got a the trash can there, an antenna there. But this slides on a track to let people in and out, and you can push it there, show it to you on the back. And then back in here is like a... I, it's like a sitting area right when you walk in because you'd walk in right here into that sitting area So it's kind of like a sitting area because they can enter through there into the restaurant But I mean it's like a sitting area where the guard stands you got I don't know what that is. I think it's like a um, um, Like a rope thing that you have to walk through or like a sensor But you do have your two chairs there and your torch here 
and then this lifts open up here too this little round piece lifts open and closes so that is awesome and then right here on the back um, this is what it looks like you got your ladder here the hinge piece here that holds all this together and like a little ladder piece there um, right here is um, that's just there for storage you can hook stuff up onto it I just knock that over this goes here but you can move this here you can move it there or down there but I chose to put it there and then you do got a bone down in here this is the piece that controls the um, in and out over here right there this is what controls it so very cool and I have no clue what this is I never really saw it in the movie I think it's like a generator or something something to keep it turning I know this spins and you can take it off here if you want take a look at that very simple build and you can just pop it in there so not sure what that is but I think it has something to do with the cantina and the awesome thing about the cantina is you can fold it up push that in push this in push this in and then it all folds up for easy storage so you can have it in your like room if you want if you have like a little shelf that you want to store this on you can fold it up and put it on there or you can kind of make it look like the door is open you can store it like this or you can kind of make it around however you want it you can do it but I really like that it all folds up for easy play and for storage all right and there is a review of the Star Wars Cantina it's amazing you get eight minifigures, and they're all iconic minifigures. Stormtrooper, Greedo, Han Solo, Luke. You get Obi-Wan Kenobi or Ben Kenobi, and you get the three musicians. Really like that. The only set, the only figures I think that were lacking were R2-D2 and C-3PO, because they played a huge role in this scene, too. But, I mean, I'm going to add them in when I display it upstairs. Got a couple extra ones laying around, so I'm going to put them in it in the scene but other than that it's it's perfect if you go online and type in old lego mussolini cantina this is a big step up it's bigger in the old one you just got this and the cantina you didn't get a land speeder i don't think but i will double check on that but i mean it is very cool i mean i think it's really cool you get amazing minifigs for a hundred bucks it's a little pricey but I do think it's a great deal for everything that you get. You get eight minifigures that are iconic. You get a huge cantina, a land speeder that's, it's not no wimpy little land speeder. It's like a $20 set land speeder. Very cool. And um, the Dubak is just awesome. That is awesome. So it is a very, very, very cool set. You did get a land speeder in the old one. But, I mean, I'll show you guys real quick. I got a picture on my phone here. That is the old one right there. If it will focus, yeah. So, there's the old one. You can see how much smaller the, can smaller the cantina was and how it lacked detail. And there's the new one. So, I just think, I mean, it's a big step up. But this one's old. It had the yellow minifigs. They didn't have the um, true-to-color ones. And you didn't get the musicians in it. The minifigs that came in the old one were Ben Kenobi, Luke Skywalker. You did get um, this in the set. You got a land speeder. You got Han Solo and Greedo. You didn't get a musician area. You didn't get an entrance. And you didn't get the bar. So you just got basically the middle. So they added on to that. So I really like it. Now this set is a thousand times better. If, I was gonna, if you were going to buy the older, the new, I'd definitely direct you towards the new. So leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of this set. And this has been Johnny Talks Toys. Thanks for watching.